Hey guys, Lost Wolf here, and welcome to Star Wars Uprising Story Mission 34. Now I got some great news for you guys because I've been blessed with a five star event crystal. And how do I get that? I'll show you guys how. Alright, so you go to your influence tab, and on the bottom right, you click on the. S I mean, yeah, you click on the right, the star thingy. And then on the left, you go to your. Consecutive login rewards and look I logged in for 28 days consecutively and I was able to get a polished event crystal so I'm gonna be using that on Victoria Kwong and upgrade one of my gears so I can progress the story All right, let's check my armory really quick. Let's see what I got Wait, I got that and I already got these rewards or redeemed rewards So I don't get any rewards for that and I get five chromium for that cool all right, so what I am going to use my polish event crystal on is my weapon because hopefully they'll give me a really big boost in PR. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, I had not claimed it yet, so be sure to claim it. I have it here somewhere. All right there. Redeemed. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh yeah, ain't that a beauty. Alright. So let's go. Upgrade the weapon. Let's see, how much PR do I have right now? 3654. Let's see how much of a boost that is. Luckily I have enough money to upgrade it. Dang. Looks even more badass. Alright. Uh, now let's upgrade it with these stuff. Upgrade this with this first. All right, so what I'm gonna do is try to upgrade my dash. Apparently, I should have done that beforehand, but eh, they have so many. I don't even. I don't even know if I have enough dash to upgrade it. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to savage my uh, duplicate equipment in order to get enough dash to upgrade this max. So without further ado, let's uh, yeah, let's level it up. Man, it took quite a while. Yeah, I completed a six-star rifle blueprint. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, look at the attack rating go up so high. All right, so I got 41.23. I think I had 36 last time, so hopefully we'll be able to do enough missions to get to Chapter 2. But somehow I'll, I I doubt it, but uh, I, it never hurts to try, so let's try it. All right. And it's going to be on Anoint. Alright. Story mission, level 34. Power up the generator. Mission description. The only thing you have left to do now before you can get to the Dissient base on Anoint is to activate the power generator. Sounds very simple, right? What could totally go wrong? Okay, no dialogue. Just straight into the action. Alright, survivalists. Alright, so in approximately like seven hours, it's gonna be some sort of new Imperial Battle Sector going on. And it's gonna last for an hour, so I'm probably gonna do that. By the time you watch this video, I probably have that video up already and stuff, so. Yeah, no point in further talking about it, but if you guys haven't checked out that video, you guys should check out the video to see what the new Imperial uh, battle is like. I think it's when the red bar on the Imperial goes up, it will initiate a small sector battle and hopefully I can get a lot of good Electrum from it. But I really need to get Victoria Kwong to like a very high level so I can participate more efficiently in the sector in the main sector battle because the higher level you are like if you're like the further story progression you are the more the more victory points you get from doing sector battle missions so 
I, I'm gonna need that if I'm ever gonna get to rank captain with Victoria Kwong. So I can get more Electrum and I can finally get the lightsaber if I haven't already uh, since the posting of this video. But hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy all of that little good bit while I continue the story of Victoria Kwong. I still have a long way to go for her, cause when I last when I last started recording Star Wars Uprising playthrough, I started with mission 68 with uh, Vikes Kuang. So it'll be a while until I get up to there, but it won't be too bad. Gives me something to do in the meantime. Okay, so. I guess I'm just fighting act dogs and lurkers and survivalists all day long. This should be fun. And Holdout Blaster is really good against groups of enemies. But for melee, maybe not so much. Because when they run up to you, it's, it's pretty difficult to hit them. You have to back up a bit and everything. Oh wow. The lower Sewers of Anoint. These, even though these guys are crazy, they they seem very very intelligent. They know how to work doors. They know how to work guns. They know how to do like everything. Yeah. I think the good thing about doing level four reward mission is that you get a lot of blue equips, which is very good. All right, looks like I finished everything, so I just have to act turn on the power. That should do it. Lifts and shuttles will get you near Dissian space when Bastion and friends are ready. Good. I'm ready to be done with this. Huh. Eh, that was pretty short. That was almost the equivalent of an assault mission on Anoit because there was barely any dialogue. Oh, I'm almost close to level 58. And every 10 levels, the daily reset, so... I don't think I'm gonna level up anytime soon. Ooh, look at all these good gorilla rewards. Hmm. Maybe I'll get one of my equips to gorilla status. All right. Let's see what you guys have to say about my awesome work on Anoit this time. Watch yourself. Victoria, we have a problem. Droids finally decide to unionize? What? It's the Empire. They must have seen the power come back on Anoit. <gasps> That's a problem, alright? They won't know why. They won't know it involves the Rebellion, but they will investigate. Oh man, look at his face. If they find that base. Won't happen. I just have to be quick. Alright, so I guess I won't be letting that happen anytime soon. Uh, I guess that's about it for this story mission. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys on the next epic Lost Wolf production. I'm Lost Wolf, and I'll be signing off.